Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Philip Nafziger. What you're about to see is a condensed version of a full length series available at buildingexpertsinstitute.com. Thanks a lot to Bluebird Roofing for helping make this video possible. Enjoy. Our first step is to remove this cladding on the outside. They make it very simple and very easy. You have these two pieces of tape at the top that you need to remove, which are pretty difficult to do with gloves on apparently. Once you remove the tape, the cladding slides out and off. No need to remove the screws at the bottom, just leave it in one piece, put it somewhere where it's not gonna get damaged. After you've removed the cladding from the edge, go ahead and lift up this uh, rubber gasket on the bottom and we're ready to install our provided ice and water shield. Now that our ice and water shield is put on all the sides, we're ready to put our shingles on and the flashing kit. We are ready for our bottom piece of flashing. Make sure that this goes underneath the rubber gasket. Very important. Just like that. All right. Just leave it just like that, and let's go up the sides with our shingles. Same rules apply for the step flashing on a skylight as with any of the other step flashing that we've installed. Keep your nails six inches away. Two nails in the stop top of your step flashing. Rinse and repeat all the way up. Also, remember the rain channel. Got a little bit of a gap, a little pinky gap all the way down. When we get to the top, there's no need to bend and fold your flashing around the top. Just cut it off at the top of the skylight. Just like that. Once again on this side, that's where our step flashing goes. We don't need to bend it or fold it. Let's just cut it off at the top of the skylight. This is our piece of flashing for the top, and this lip is actually not functional. Just beat this down or cut it off. Let's go ahead and nail this flashing down. Make sure it's nice and snug on both sides. Here we are, it's all complete. And if you notice on my edges, I have about an inch there. I like to have extra space for the water to run off the sides as opposed to having your shingle all the way tight to the edge. Even though I had a splice very close to the edge, I still don't have any nails or holes or penetrations. Perfect area for the water to channel down towards the roof. Last but not least, we're going to put our cladding on. This just slides up and under on the sides. 
to fasten the cladding in place, lift this tab up like that and then fold it down. On this side, same thing. Here's the tab from our cladding. Swivel that up and squish it down just like that. Now it's nice and locked in there, won't go anywhere. Skylights are amazing features on your house for letting in lots of light, but if they leak, it doesn't do you a lot of good. Fortunately, if you follow the system that we laid out here for how to install the flashing, you will be in good shape and won't have to worry about anything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember, this was a condensed version of a full length video available at Building Experts Institute. Link in the description below. I've got some more videos for you here to watch and don't forget like subscribe and share it helps me make more content like this thanks